This is Twit. Creating your own pie hole is a beginner's level Raspberry Pi project that you can have complete within 30 minutes, as long as you have basic computing knowledge. The first step is to get your favorite distro. I use the latest version of Raspbian Stretch straight from the Raspberry Pi website. Once you've downloaded your image, go ahead and get an SD imaging program like Win32 Disk Imager or Etcher. These programs will allow you to write the image to an SD card without even unzipping the download. The duration of the imaging process will depend on the speed of the card and the writer, but make sure to allow the imaging software to verify the write once it's done. You don't want a corrupt distro to halt your pie hole groove. Once to image, insert the card into your Raspi, connect network, keyboard, mouse, and display, then power it up. After the initial setup, you should be dropped into the desktop. Open a command shell, then type the following command. C-U-R-L space dash S uppercase S uppercase L space H-T-T-P-S colon forward slash forward slash install dot pi dash hole dot net space pipe space B-A-S-H and hit enter. Assuming that you're properly connected to a network, this will launch a script that will automatically install PyHole onto your Raspi. On a Raspi 3, assuming a broadband connection, installing the packages should take between 2 and 5 minutes. If you're a bit more experienced and curious about how PyHole actually works, this would be a good time to look through the code, which is completely open. If you're not, just sit back and wait until you get the welcome screen, along with a warning that the installer is about to transform your Raspi into an ad-blocking network device. Hit the spacebar to continue, then space through the following info screens until you get to the Choose an Interface screen. This will allow you to choose from any network interface that are available on your Pi. If you're using a 3, you have both wired and wireless options. However, if at all possible, choose wired because the last thing you want to do is to add any instability or latency to your DNS. Next, you're asked to choose your upstream DNS provider. This is the DNS service that your PyHole will use to obtain DNS results before filtering out the requests to domains that serve ads. I suggest that you use Google 8.8.8.8 as their service is fast and the least likely to go down. The next screen allows you to select the protocols that your PyHole will use to block ads. Make sure that both IPv4 and IPv6 are selected, then space through. Next, you'll be asked to set a static address. This is important. Most of our devices use DHCP, Dynamic Host Control Protocol, to be assigned an address, gateway, lease time, and DNS. We don't want that on our pie hole because DHCP addresses can change over time, and if it changes after we've set our clients to use it, then we won't be able to resolve any domains. What I would suggest is that you use an address outside of the scope reserved by your router's DHCP server. If you allow it to use your current network address, there's a chance that another device will be assigned to that address in the future and that will also kill DNS. The following screen should all be left at default. Install and turn on the web admin interface, then allow your pie hole to log all your queries, unless you don't have complete control over the space in which you'll install your pie hole and are worried about others seeing your DNS queries. At this point, you're done, at least with the setup on the Raspi. If you've changed your network settings, you may have to restart the pie, but your pie hole should now be active on your configured address. Before the ad blocking will work, you'll need to either configure each client to use the pie hole as its DNS server, or else change the settings in the router itself so that new DHCP requests are automatically given the address of the pie hole. Once that's set up, you'll go from ad ridden to ad barren. <laughs>